So, you want to make a pixel art bookshelf. Well, congratulations. Now, you're able to read, but in pixel vision. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at some more pixel art. It's been a while since we've done some pixel art. I've been doing a lot of uh, drawing videos recently on my Wednesday videos, but uh, we're doing some pixel art today. So, I'm going to go ahead and I have a 64 by 64 canvas here. We don't really need it to be that big. I'm just doing that just so we have some space to move around and whatnot. But anyway, we're going to go to a specific part of the canvas here. And I want to do a, a kind of a top-down kind of angle bookshelf. And and you guys asked me for a lot of pixel art stuff. I'm just going to grab a brown color while I'm talking. Um, you guys asked me for a lot of different pixel art stuff. And I figure we'll just do something kind of random like a bookshelf. Because that'll be kind of fun. So, I want to go ahead and just pick a, a square. This is, uh, this is I believe this is 1, 2, 16 by 16. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 16 by 16. Each one of these, these squares are 16 by 16 pixels by default. So I'm going to use one of these, and I'm just going to kind of follow its guideline, um, but one on the inside. So I'm going to skip one. I'm going to skip all this entire inside loop right here, and I'm going to go on the inside like this. So we're going to skip that entire one, and we're just going to go up like this. Um, and I'm kind of going to maybe follow a little bit of a guideline. I want to skip one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to skip four spaces from the top. So one, two, three, four. Uh, right there and then we're gonna go down by two maybe and eh, that's not enough we're gonna go up by one forget that I'll skip three spaces instead and then do like that so this is gonna be like a little tiny little bookshelf it's gonna be like a minecraft bookshelf so I'm just kind of kind of getting like a, a thing like kind of like that so I have two rectangles here essentially uh, with three spaces away from the top on this side and then three spaces in between that one and the other one as well So um, I, I like the way it looks so far So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this in by just pulling the color up just a little bit Maybe adding a little bit more yellow to it this time We're gonna hit G to bucket fill that and that's not bright enough So we're gonna do that again. There we go. Something like that's better uh, And then I'm gonna take that color by hitting I to eye drop it and we're just gonna drag it up just a little bit more a little bit more to the yellow and then we're going to create like a little bit of a lip thing like this, but not right there. Uh, we're going to do it right there, and we're also going to do it right there as well. Uh, there we go. Now, I'm going to pull that up like that. You know, we might as well just go all the way with it, so we'll do like that instead. That's fine. We'll do that. Cool. Now, for the corners, I kind of want to round this out, so I'm going to grab this base color again and then just put two pieces right there. See what it looks like? Yeah, like it. Um, and then for this, I kind of want to cheat a little bit. So I'll bring this highlight up like this. And then we will just put this like that. Yeah, all right, I like it. Sweet. Um, next thing's second. Um, I want to fill in the inside here. So I'll, I'll grab the base color. Uh, actually, I'll grab this color and then just drop this color down. Uh, eh, we'll do like this instead. So I'll, I'll drop the, the border color down. And then I will, I kind of just, maybe something like that, less saturation. Uh, and I want to get rid of that space right there too. We're going to get rid of that because I don't need that. I'm silly because I was leaving an outline for the rest of it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out by one in every direction. Because I forgot I was doing the border, but that's fine. Because we'll just pull it out just real quick. It's no big, no big whoop-tastic. I hope you guys' this day is going good. I want to take this time to thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys are just, you guys are insane with the, with the support on my videos. Uh, I want to, I want to thank you so much. I do. I really do. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a border around the outside of that. So don't even worry about that. I do want this to be one pixel wide, though. So we'll do like that. Cool. Now we got a little bit of a thing going on. Um, yeah, but like I said, thank you so much for the support in the videos. All the videos. You guys are crazy with the love. Really, really appreciate it. We're going to be doing some more awesome stuff uh, in the futures. So yeah, I'm going to just grab that highlight color and kind of pull a little line across right there. And that'll be like the separation, I guess. And then we're going to start choosing some colors for some books. So I'm going to go grab maybe a reddish color. Of course, like always, you don't want to go super saturation because I'm like that instead of like that, which is obviously much better. So don't go super saturation. Uh, we're just going to hue shift this over to the blue maybe and we'll do a blue. Then we'll do like a green. And I kind of want to make this book lean. So we'll do something like that. That one leans over and maybe we'll do like that. Double it up a little bit. Maybe I'll have another green one going this, this direction. I'll very slightly change the color of it like that. 
Um, I don't want two color books of the same color, so I'm gonna just kind of try and see if I can. That's not a good looking yellow. See if I can maybe shift them a little bit. Maybe that's laying on each other. Um, actually, I want to move that over because it can't lean on anything. It can't lean on nothing. So there we go. Hit oh, by the way, hit M to drag a box over stuff and move it. So I hit M, move that up and whatnot. Yeah. So that's just the M key by default. Um, and I'll just fill that back in. Cool. With the blue book, I'm gonna do maybe two blue books here in a row. Maybe a purplish one, a darker one. Yeah, all right, cool. And then another red book here, and then maybe a, what color don't we have? Uh, we don't have a pink book. Maybe this is a pink book over here. It's how to, how to what, what's a pink flower? I don't even know. I was gonna say how to collect such and such flowers, but I don't even know what, I really should brush up on my flower knowledge, guys. I didn't know enough about flowers, and now I feel devastated. And now uh, I didn't know what flower to say. Anyway, um, I don't want this many books leaning. This is too much leanage. So we're going to go ahead and just <laughs> we're go ahead and do some more colors here. What are we lacking? I feel like we're lacking so much color. And I just don't. Let me do some white gray books. I don't know. There's white books, right? I think so. Right? Something like that. Yeah. All right. And that's a, it's kind of leaning. Maybe we'll do one that leans like this instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Okay, cool. All right. Those are some books. Maybe another white one over here. Leaning like that. Yes. All right, so we got some books. You can shade them if you want. We'll grab this yellow, drop them down, pull it a little to the warmer tone because we, we're doing darker colors here. And then we're just going to shade that, I guess, if you want to. I don't like shading, so I don't, I don't typically do it. But I'll just do a, a few of these little pieces right here for you real quick. We'll just drop that down, drop it down, make sure it's not too saturated. Pull it to the, to the pinkish side still. Reinforce that pink a little bit. Grab this light bluish color. Drop it down. Drag it to the blue a little bit, and then just a little bit, a little bit of shading there. And you see this goes uh, in every uh, in every direction, in every way. You just see you can you can shade all these pretty easily, uh, just with a little a little bit of a hue shift, a little bit of a, a color drop. There you go. Um, we can also do highlights. Just pull it up a little bit and to the left, and then drag the hue to the left as well. A little bit of a highlight right there. You know, you can get the same stuff done there. But uh, but yeah, so I really, really like this. And I want to go ahead and finish it up real quick. So I'll grab the darkest color in this entire piece, which is this back of the the bookshelf. I'm going to just drag it down into the left a little bit, desaturate it, pull it more towards the red. And then we'll just do an outline all around this bad boy. And I don't want to connect the edges, I don't believe, because I want to have this like halfway done kind of thing. Um, and I'm thinking that... I kind of want to change this up a little bit. So we'll do highlights on the highlights. I don't think the lighter colors are light enough. So I'll grab, I drop that, pull it up a little bit, and then we'll highlight the highlights uh, like that all the way across there. And then this one as well. And then actually, wait, no, we'll do like this. And then we'll, I drop this lighter color, this darker color, and then put it right here on both of those sides. And then we'll do a little bit of a highlight down here like that. Maybe I'll break it up by adding this one right here and right here on the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. All right, cool. Uh, super sweetness. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hope you enjoy the little tiny bookshelf. You can actually extend this, by the way, and have like extra layers if you want like a, a, a two tile wide bookshelf. That would be kind of cool. If you do something like this, so you just kind of copy and paste them maybe a little bit. You'd obviously have to uh, do different books because these are like the same books. Unless you want the same books, then you can add the same books. It's fine with me. Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't. You probably don't want the same books. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty swell. I really do. I really do, guys. So, uh, I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's tutorial. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to block out some of these books, like get rid of those. You can even break it like this uh, in half and move it over, get a four wide bookshelf. But yeah, so I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye bye. <laughs>